Southeast governors take final decision on 2023 presidency. Greetings to you all. Hope you are doing great in our respective locations. So all my amazing subscribers know this. Someone looks good. Tell them you think they are cool. Tell them you love their work. Tell them make someone's day. Love your people out loud. Please kindly give this video a thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Ahead of 2023, Southeast governors of their zone should produce the next president of the country. Governor Umayi, who is the chairman of the Southeast Governors Forum, said the region deserves fair and equal treatment. The Eboy State Governor said the Igbo dominated region is no longer interested in any succession. Governors of the Southeast Zone have asked all the political parties in the country to pick their 2023 presidential candidates from the zone. Nigeria Tribune reported that the chairman of the Southeast Governors Forum and governor of Airborne State, David Umayi, made a call on Friday, October 8. Governor Umayi noted that the Igbo-dominated region has sacrificed a lot and must be allowed to produce the next president of the country, whether through zoning or not. Legit Nigerian gathers that the governor made this known during a prayer summit organized by the state government at the Ecumenica Center Abakaliki. He called for the integration of the zone in the affairs of the country, reiterating that Nigerians must treat the Southeast fairly and equitably. Governor Umayi said the Southeast region is no longer interested in Biafra but wants to belong to the fair play and equitable Nigerian. Earlier, Legit Nigerian reported that Governor Umayi said it will feel bad if the APC does not give the Southeast a chance at the presidency in 2023. The Ebony State Governor said this when he appeared as a guest on Channels TV on Friday, September 12th. Governor Omai noted that the major yearning of the people of the southeastern region is that they should be given a chance to produce Nigerians' president, whether on the platform of the PDP or the APC. Meanwhile, an APC group, Southeast Mandate, SEM, has appealed to President Muhammad Buhari to facilitate the process of nominating a presidential candidate from trusted members of the party from the region ahead of the 2023 general elections. The group also urged other political parties in Nigeria to cede its presidential ticket to the Southeast in the spirit of justice, equity, and good conscience. Convener of the group, Senator Julius Usha, who briefed journalists after their recent meeting, identified lack of trust, latent fear, suspicion, and prejudice as some of the factors holding the Southeast down in Nigerians' political equation, saying it was poised to reverse the trend. But please kindly give this video a thumbs up and please click on the notification button down below. I see you even as you do so. May the blessings of God Almighty never cease to overflow in your lives as you all support my channel. Amen. Selfish leaders who don't know what their people want demand it for presidency with the prevailing fulanized structure. What Ibos wants is a restructured Nigerian first then presidency or total separation from Nigeria as an independent Biafran nation. Wise politicians of Igbo extraction 
who want to align with Igbo's interests should root for restructuring of Nigeria or emergence of Biafran nation. Satanize. Ah, una greediness. All this South is foreign religion's madness. We never allowed them to produce the next president before 2023. They will start betraying themselves. And every church leader we have is anointed candidates. Oh, using Bible quotation to create dissatisfaction among themselves. The way Umba Umbaka did during 2015 when it disqualified Jonathan. And 2019, where he disqualified his brother Peter Obi because of actual Aso rock contracts. At this point, the Southeast region must unite and lobby other religions, uh, other regions, I mean to say, politically, to gain support. Hence, the office of the president is never gotten on platter of gold or sympathy. For a particular region or tribe, they must strive to work at their salvation. Th true facts, everyone deserves it. All tribes fought for the independence of this country and zoning us to go around and it is for the sake of peace, equity and justice. Nigeria is one and we should learn to live in peace by giving Southeast the tickets. It's telling us all that we are one. But please kindly give this video a thumbs up and please Click on the notification button for more authentic news. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.